Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Hope you're doing well. Today on my thumbnail photograph I have true or false and um, that's a question many of us ask especially when we read the news today. We don't even know, always know if we're hearing the truth which is why one of the reasons, one of the many reasons, I love the gospel so much because um, the Bible gives us the truth and it gives us the truth that sets us free but when we look on the news or wherever we, we, we don't really see the truth which brings me to this picture here um, this chap's known as Mr. Mr. Pallywood in fact I'd carried out um, I'd done a search and uh, on Twitter and this was what came up so this, this man here has been appearing a lot in, in, uh, on various occasions uh, regarding Palestine and Gaza etc and uh, he's got here he's a freedom fighter, he's a blood donor, he's a foster father, he's a resilient patient, he's a revived corpse, as you can see he's in a body bag, but uh, he's, he's using his phone, uh, a war correspondent, American Idol, radiology tech, tour guide, and I've seen more as well. Um, so it's funny we don't always know um, what we, whether we're seeing the truth and here is another um, article uh, Pallywood uh, Garzans falsely accused of staging injury and death online and uh, all, all sorts of different pictures out there on, on the subject and um, I appreciate it's a war situation and any war situation is bad but I'm thankful that Israel uh, is trying to do what it can to, to minimise injury but, but it's difficult when you've got um, you've got soldiers or fighters underneath hospitals and what have you and in tunnels so it does make it very difficult and um, uh, apparently Hamas have uh, lo lots of uh, weapons etc in sort of like school playground grounds they use humans as human shields so it's um, it's not nice it's not good so um, I'm just thankful that the Bible gives us the truth and if we have a look uh, here and this is uh, Jack Hibbs who talks about a lot about end time prophecy now um, this is from the, uh, Dr Eli D David or Ellie I'm not sure how you say it Dr Ellie David um, says do children in Gaza have six fingers or are they using the free version of AI so here we have a some of the um, five or six fingers including a thumb um, it, it's amazing what what people will do and um, I've always had my um, reservations about AI because it can um, it's all of a sudden this year it's got very big we've got uh, AI that's available for all of all of us to use and yes there are some good things about it but it can also do many false things that aren't true and this is this is what we're seeing here so we need to be careful so I just thought I'd look up some scriptures um, that talk about truth so we start with Exodus 20 uh, it reads you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor so in other words we need to be truthful which comes out the Ten Commandments and then the rest of the verses are from John's Gospel so where are we John 1 14 uh, and the word of the flesh became flesh and dwelt among us sorry I'm going to start again it's John it's coming from John um, John 1 verse 14 and it says and the word become became flesh and dwelt among us we beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth the word truth and then if we go down to 17 for the law was given through Moses but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ Jesus came to set the captives free and he came to bring truth which is wonderful then if we look at John 4 uh, 24 God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth and then John 8 32 uh, reads and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make uh, make you free isn't it wonderful to have the Bible that gives us truth before I was a Christian I was blind I couldn't see the truth of the of the living word but when I got born again and the Spirit of God came to live inside me all of a sudden I could see the truth of God's Word and the Bible says you, you, you cannot see the kingdom of God before you're born again 
and I was literally blind to it. I, I couldn't see it. I used to laugh about it. Um, you know, how can you worship this imaginary person? But it's not until you get born again, and that born again spirit comes inside of you, that you can see that wonderful truth that the Bible brings. And what, and what a difference between this, all these different things, um, that is untruth to the truth of God's uh, gospel. And then finally, John fourteen six is, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So once again, we see more truth, more biblical truth. And I could go on, but just, I don't want to make this video too long. But maybe um, you're not a Christian and you're wondering what's going on in this world. Um, every day we seem to have something uh, kind of ridiculous on the news and something just where um, th there's no law people are just doing what they want and um, but we're thankful that the Bible sort of predicted that this would happen we'd be living in days of deception and things would deteriorate as we're seeing just rapidly literally every day it seems we uh, see things deteriorate but if you believe in Jesus and who came to set the captives free and came to give abundant life and um, eternal life as well um, if you believe in him you will be set free and death will lose its sting and uh, we can be confident that we have a place in heaven if we genuinely believe in him and seek from doing what is right and what is wrong and the spirit of god can guide you into all truth so if you'd like to say this prayer after me which reads dear lord jesus i acknowledge you as lord and savior of my life i repent of all my sins and i ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen and as i said if you said that said that and you meant it um, it means you have been born again you've been given the gift of eternal life i'm reading from the bible gateway here so um application i often use is free and uh, there's many other applications you can use for your phone so it's good to read the bible and as a christian you should want to read the bible and go deeper into god's word and secondly it's good to find a good solid church and also a small group where you can grow in your faith and um, it's important that we grow each day the late smith wigglesworth said if you don't if you're not growing every day you're backsliding which is quite harsh but there is definitely truth in that i can't i can't really argue with that and uh, so it's quite a quite a good thing to go on if you've got any questions or any thoughts on this video please feel free to like the video and comment i'm here to help and encourage and thank you very much for watching